timeline for your marriage-based green card application depends on your specific situation. The biggest factors that determine how long your case will take overall are whether you are marrying a U.S. citizen or a green card holder and whether your application is inside the U.S. or outside the U.S. So let's take a look at examples of the timeline you can expect for these different scenarios and the steps that you need to take if you want your green card to be approved on time. And if this is your first time on my channel, be sure to subscribe and to turn on the notifications so that you can be updated with immigration news as it comes out. And if you would like an appointment with my office, please call us at 212-248-7907. The very first step that every single marriage-based green card application requires is the filing of an I-130 application for alien relatives. This application will establish your category of eligibility for a green card. USCIS will then send you an official receipt number in the mail, usually within two weeks to one month after filing your application. You can then use this number to track your application online through the USCIS website. If USCIS determines that something more is needed or if your case is missing a certain document, they may then send you something called an RFE or a request for evidence. If your case were to receive an RFE, you may receive this within four to six months after filing the I-130. This can slow down your case considerably but sometimes it cannot be avoided as certain times USCIS may even request documents that you have already provided. But in order to make sure that your case is not missing any required documents in the first place, be sure to read the instructions for the I-130 and follow the required document guideline closely. USCIS will then take between nine to 12 months to process your I-130. At this point, your guideline for getting your green card will depend on whether you are inside the United States or whether you are outside the United States. If you are marrying a US citizen and you are already inside the United States, you are in luck because these cases are often the quickest ones. This is because if you are marrying a United States citizen and you are inside the United States, you can simultaneously or concurrently file your application to adjust status, the form I-485, along with your I-130 in order to save a little bit of time and combine the two cases together. Normally, this process is called a two-step petition and can take anywhere from six months to 12 months to be processed inside the United States, depending on where you live, as formally this requires an interview in front of an immigration officer. Thus, the timeline will depend on how busy your local office is. About four to six weeks after filing your I-485 along with the I-130, you will receive a notice with the date and time of a biometrics appointment. This is where they take your fingerprints and photo used to process your application as well as a work permit application if you have provided one. This will be typically scheduled at the application support center or the USCIS field office that is assigned to your case. Once USCIS finishes processing your application, they will send you a notice with the time and date and location of your green card marriage interview. Both you and your spouse must attend this interview and it will typically take place about one to two months after you receive the appointment letter. However, because of current backlogs, this wait time for the interview in the first place can be many, many months long and will certainly depend on where in the United States you live. Typically, the officer may let you know at the end of the interview whether you are approved, but even if they don't tell you exactly that day, you should receive your letter in the mail within one week to one month after the interview date. The total average time for the processing of an I-130 plus I-485 application is between 10 to 14 months throughout the United States. But what if you are inside the United States and marrying a green card holder? Unfortunately, this is one of the longest timelines. First, you may not always be eligible to file the I-485 along with your I-130. The only times you can file this concurrently is if your priority date as the spouse of an LPR is Current. Because this type of green card is not exempt from annual limits, you must wait for a green card in this category to become available before applying. You can check this in the monthly visa bulletin issued by the Department of State every month. 
Right now, the F2A category, which is the category for spouses of green card holders, is current, meaning that at this time inside the U.S., a spouse of a green card holder can also file their I-485 along with the I-130 as well as the children as well. But keep in mind that the visa bulletin is subject to change on a month-by-month -month basis, so this could change at any time. When submitting your green card application, you'll receive a notice from USCIS within two weeks to one month letting you know whether it has been received and assigning you a case number. About one month after filing this, you will also receive your biometrics appointment. And just like with the I-130 that I just mentioned, if USCIS requires any additional information, they will typically let you know within four to six months after filing through a request for evidence. The average processing time for the spouse of an LPR is between 22 to 36 months. But what if you are married to a green card holder and you live outside the United States? This is commonly referred to as consular processing because your green card will automatically be processed at the U.S. Embassy in your home country. After USCIS approves your I-130, they will forward your case to the National Visa Center, who will then assign it their own unique case number. This will be used to identify your case with the National Visa Center and the Department of State from then on. One thing to note, if you are living out of the United States and you're marrying a green card holder instead of a U.S. citizen, there is an extra step. You will also have to wait for your category to become current according to the Visa Bulletin in order to proceed with the interview. Right now, the F2A category is current, so spouses of green card holders would not have an extra wait. But going forward, if this changes, then yes, your interview will have an extra wait time. Once the NBC receives your case, they will instruct you to file the DS-260 online if your case and your category is current. It can take them up to three weeks to process this form. You will get a notice confirming whether they have received your application and instructing you on what documents to submit next. Sometimes these documents can be uploaded electronically through the NBC website, or they may be required to be submitted by mail. Normally, it can take between one to several months for NBC to go through these documents and mark you as documentarily qualified which would mean that all of your required documents have been submitted. However, should anything be missing or unacceptable, NBC will let you know and you must resubmit correct documents and wait the time period again for NBC to process these documents. Once you are documentarily qualified, the NBC will forward your case to your consulate where you must then wait for your appointment. Typically, it takes between one to two months to schedule and receive the appointment. However, with the embassies being backlogged around the world, the wait time could be significantly longer. Once your appointment is scheduled, you will need to schedule your medical exam and obtain fresh documents as required. You will also need to confirm your passport delivery address and method of delivery and attend your fingerprinting appointment prior to your appointment. Your consulate may approve your application the same day but typically, you may also need to wait at least one to two weeks to receive your passport back with the good news. When you receive your passport, it will contain an immigrant visa that must be used within six months. Before you travel to the United States, you should try to pay the immigrant fee through the USCIS website. Then get on the plane, come to the US, where your passport will be endorsed and you will receive a temporary proof of your status as a green card holder for one year before you receive the actual card in the mail. This entire process can take anywhere from 15 to 22 months. Including all of the necessary information and documents at the beginning of each step will help you to reduce your timeline. An experienced immigration lawyer can certainly help with this. So if you are looking for assistance on your case, you can call our office at 212-248-7907. I have helped hundreds of couples receive their green cards inside the U.S. and from outside the U.S. without delay, so if you need assistance, give us a call. It's important to prepare well for your marriage green card interview, especially when you're inside the United States. If you would like to watch my video where I go in depth into the type of questions that you can expect and where I give my expert tips on how to prepare and answer questions, click here to watch this next video and I'll see you there.